pretty today and, and with the blue sky it just looks so like a nice fall day. Out yeah, there. and it was warm enough to get outside and look at him today, George. With that sun coming out here, yeah, we uh, it looked very, very inviting. <laughs> uh, but the clouds came in this afternoon as we came into work, and now they're just departing once again. Yeah, fall colors in full bloom here in West Michigan, even though it is a couple of weeks late. We're already into November. Let's take a look ahead. 13 weather ball is red, and that means a little milder, more seasonable weather ahead after several chilly days. And this view sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. With a little hint of some sunshine, especially this afternoon, we managed to make it into the mid 40s, 47 here in Grand Rapids, but our average high is 52. Last year we were 72 on this date, and we actually made 47 today. So that is not a bullseye, that is just within three degrees of our forecast. High. Uh, temperatures tonight will not be quite as cold as they were last night, even though we've got a little bit of clearing taking place now. Uh, we'll see the clouds roll in again later tonight as temperatures start to go up a little bit towards daybreak and we'll top out around 50 51 with more sunshine in the afternoon tomorrow than today. And skies will be partly cloudy for any of those Friday evening playoff high school football games. Uh, a little bit different than the last couple of Friday nights. This Friday night will be dry around the country. Uh, no snow falling uh, just about anywhere. There are still some showers uh, exiting uh, West Virginia and a lot of rain and wind expected up here in the Pacific Northwest. Meanwhile, much of the country staying very, very dry, very, very quiet. It's all because of the way the jet stream has shaped up, uh, getting a little bit of drying winds with a northwest breeze right here in West Michigan as well. But that's going to retreat the rest of the week on into the weekend. This is by Sunday. Look at where this uh, jet stream is coming from, from the southwest U.S., and that usually means a warm, dry weather pattern. We're certainly going to be warming up. Uh, middle part of the week, there's one little wave of energy coming on through. We have to throw in a chance of a shower uh, Tuesday night, but it's a very small chance. A bigger chance will come as this storm system comes out on Veterans Day into the following Friday, and then our winds turn around back to the northwest, and that means uh, after a mild weekend this weekend, we will turn much cooler by the following weekend. In terms of snowfall, well, look at the country. This is where the snow will be over the next five to six days or so. This is through next Wednesday evening. Most of it will be from the Rocky Mountains westward, and then there'll be a storm system coming out as you saw, but that will travel to our north and west. So no snow expected here in much of lower Michigan for the next 10 to 14 days or so. So for tomorrow, we'll start out with some morning clouds, but as the afternoon goes out, we'll get back into some sunshine. Breezes will start to pick up out of the south and southwest as highs climb into the low and mid 50s, closer to our average highs. Around 50 up north, maybe a little bit warmer there in Fremont with morning clouds and afternoon sun. And from Grand Rapids southward, we'll see the winds turning around to the south. Highs tomorrow around 50 to 51. Again, morning clouds and some afternoon sunshine. 13 on your side forecast. Climbing up to near 60 by Sunday afternoon. We get an extra hour of sleep with that milder weather. 61 on Monday. And then there is that chance of an overnight shower Tuesday night. It's only a 40% chance. And again, Wednesday night. But the best chance will now come uh, Thursday night on Veterans Day night with maybe a rumble of thunder rolling on in. And then some scattered showers with falling temperatures next Friday. And those showers will last into Saturday. A very chilly Saturday next weekend with highs only in the 40s.